Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on with my weekly um, budget with me. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. All right, guys. So it is April the 6th. All right. And uh, we are doing our Etsy income for this week as normal. I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. All right. And I usually pay myself about $500 per week. And it's no different this week. So $500. So um, again, thank you guys for your continued support over on etsy i'm glad that you guys are finding um the products the saving challenge games and things useful in your um budgeting journeys and things like that so again thank you so much for your continued support it uh really makes my day thank you for leaving those wonderful wonderful reviews over on etsy i love to read them okay thank you for commenting on my youtube videos and things like that and like i said just being a part of the family i appreciate it all right before i get into um doing my budget guys bingo is tonight at 8 p.m central standard time okay the zoom link is available on the community post so get it now the uh, the first 50 people will be allowed to come to the zoom uh, meeting tomorrow okay after 50 people i will not be allowing anyone else into the room okay so um if you if you want to come over to bingo please be sure to stop by <coughs> And we're looking to have a great time. All right, so that's that for bingo. Like I said, print off your bingo cards, print off your the directions for bingo, print out the patterns and everything else, and get ready to have a good time and meet some of your YouTube friends, okay? <laughs> so that's it. All right, so that, back to our income. So like I said, we had uh, $500, and that's it for the week. All right, and then I come down to this section here where it says, which says payday bills, but I actually do my cash envelopes here, guys, okay, because I don't do any bills on my channel. If you're new here, I, I only budget my side hustle income, so anything I make from Etsy, and I do my um, YouTube check once a week, once a month, okay? So that is it, so here we go. We'll write down our categories. Groceries is at $100 weekly. Um, gas, $20 a week. Household supplies, $20 as well. I get $20 for personal money. Jordan gets $20. That's my 14-year-old son. Okay. And then um, eating out gets $25. I do uh, forgiving. I do five. And like I say, in case I see someone in need while I'm driving in and to, you know, from work and things like that. And then we have our miscellaneous to cover our loose ends, which is $10. And this total should end up in $220, but let's uh, verify. Make sure the math is mathing, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 80 plus 25. Plus 10. All right, 220 perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come through our budget. We're going to take our total income amount there 500 minus our cash envelopes of 220. And that's going to leave us with our 280 uh, for the week to uh, put into our savings challenges. Okay, so there's that's that. And then we come to our savings challenge box here. Okay. And I usually do it by um, day order, okay? I have the top line is my heat book. Whatever is remaining is gonna go there. And so I go ahead and put um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for my game schedule. And then Sunday is Saving with Shalonda Sunday, which is always at $50 for my interactive games. And then I place some of my new freebies, okay? And then we do, um, on Monday, we do our self-care games self-care and mini challenges and those are at $25 each so that's 50 <clears throat> all right then we do um $2 Tuesday is my low income day on the channel so I show you how to play the game extremely low income with only $10 okay um Wednesday is going to be um, roll with a Wednesday 
and we were playing um, my DIY kits on that day. So we're doing cru cruise control for the month. And that's always $25. Okay. Thursday, like I said, this is supposed to be my mystery day. I really didn't get it out this week, but I have some new things coming. So this day will be reserved for that for real, for real. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to just put, let's just put $50 right there for now, guys. I think, I don't know if I actually had a amount figured out for my heat book yet. I think last week we did, let's see, what did we do last time? We ended up doing 105 last week for the heat. I don't think we needed quite that much. I think we decided on $75 a week. So we can put the other 50 there. Let's put let's just put $75 for heat. All right. And then we're gonna put the rest of the money into this uh, mystery day and extra money, okay? We'll do it that way. Okay, so like I said, the heat money is gonna cover four videos. It's Three of the videos are at $20 a piece, and then I'm going to use $15 for bingo games, okay? So I do my signature games at low income. Like I said, I'm showing you the really low income way to play the game. So low income for signature games, um, sinking funds, um, what's up, casino, and then 15 for bingo. So that's my breakdown for the heat book, okay? And then so whatever we have left is going to go to my mystery and my leftover money for games so I can play whatever I want. So let's go ahead and... Add it up. So let's see what we got. 75 plus 50 plus 50, 10 plus 25. That's 210. So that's going to leave us $70 to do what we please. Okay. So mystery money, $70 per week is where we're at for that. Let me just verify. So 125, 50, 60, 85 plus 70. Okay. So 280, so perfect, all right? So we're gonna come move these figures up here. So in our income box, we're gonna put 500. No bills on the channel, so we'll just bring that back down here. Our uh, cash envelope um, amount was 220. And so we'll do the, again, the 500 minus the 220. That leaves 280 in our balance here. Uh, for our saving challenges, we have written out as 280 here. So the 280 minus the 280 there it gives us zero. Then no debt repayment, anything like that. Because like I said, the money that we save throughout the month um, goes into our sinking fund. So we've been averaging around $1,000 a month that we have saved through savings challenges. And all that money is just going directly into our sinking funds. Okay? So that is how it goes. All right? So that is my budget for this week. And so I'm going to go ahead and get the money counted. And we're going to stuff our envelopes and, of course, play some cash envelope games from my heat book. Okay? So I'm going to move this out the way because <laughs> I'm ready to play some games. All right? So here we go. We got 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 500, okay? So that is the deal, so that's that. All right, and then I'm gonna bring my peat book up and we're gonna get ready to play some games. All right. So I'm just gonna open up right to my cash envelope games, guys, because it's, it's game time. All right. <laughs> We've been waiting on game time, guys. <laughs> Hold on. How's that there? My tracker in the wrong place. All right. Like, guys, I play these as cash envelope games, but like I said, you have a tracker here where you can play and um, use these for actual sinking funds. If you have, like, sinking funds for gas and um, grocery sinking fund and all these other type of things, like family fun and uh, get your nails and stuff done, take out. If you have sinking funds for those, you can really play these as, as savings challenges, but I just play them for fun, guys, because they're in my book, and I want to use all my book. Any chance I get, I'm going to use my book, okay? Because why not? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our wa wallet stuff. So let's see how we want to do this. Let's. I think we want. We gonna do the gas game first. Then we gonna do groceries. Okay. So we always play start with the gas. So I got gas is at twenty dollars. Okay. So we are gonna go ahead and stuff that. Then we are gonna do groceries next. I ain't gonna say groceries for the end. I'm gonna do it early on. All right. So got gas. Here we go. We got twenty dollars, and I do have some prop money up here that I'm playing with, so, so I can show you how to play in case. Let me make sure it's 
What's it supposed to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I got twenty dollars prop money over here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So twenty dollars. So you can kind of like see what it looks like if you were to be playing this for real. You know, like saving challenge wise. Okay. So for this, you need a colored die and you need an eight-sided die. The colored die represents the gas tank. We're gonna uh, color the gas tank, gas pump, and then this eight-sided die is gonna tell us which gas pump we're gonna knock out. So here we go. All right, we got red number eight is our first one. Here I come. I found a marker. And I'm gonna use I use this blue one, I need a dark one. All right. And we come over to our red number eight pump. Okay, we cross that out. And that's gonna be eight dollars of our money. Two, four, six, eight. Off to the side. Let's go again. All right. Yellow eight. Oh, we got big numbers. Let's see. <laughs> All right, yellow eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we only got $4 left now, guys. That money went fast, so we're just gonna roll for a color and pick a number four tank, okay? So we don't wanna get an IOU, cause we don't do that here, okay? We got green, the green number four is gone, so we're gonna roll again. Yellow number four, all right, there we go. And one, two, three, four. So that is how you allocate your money into your cash envelope when you play your games, guys, okay? For the uh, cash envelope games that you wanted to play for sinking funds, you wanted to play, you know what I mean, just like that. And like I said, you'll come over to your tracker, then you find your game you're playing, got gas. You'll add your twenty dollars there if you were saving this for a sinking fund. But like I said, I'm not saving this money. This money is being spent because it's my cash envelope money. Okay. <laughs> All right. So our next game, we're gonna go ahead and get into to the grocery games, guys. Okay? Because uh, farmers market was not nice to us last weekend. We got we gotta uh, show them who's boss, okay? <laughs> so again, um, we're gonna go ahead and stuff our money for our uh, groceries, okay? So we have to get a hundred dollars a week for groceries. And so with this uh, money, we're gonna play the farmer's market and we're gonna play the grocery um, aisle game, okay? Grocery store game. So for this one here, we need to roll a 10-sided dice and we're going to roll until we hit a 10. So we're gonna be adding up our total, guys. I'm gonna use my chips again, like I did last time to see our, our pile add up, okay? <laughs> and the uh, fruit and uh, produce amounts are uh, in quarter base, like 25, 50 cents, 75 cents a dollar. So we're gonna see how much we can accumulate until we roll, hit a zero, which is a 10. So one through nine, and then 10 stops our game, okay? So here we go. Let's see, oh, 10 on the first one, we get nothing, all right. Seven. Seven is for squash, so 75 cent. All right, here we go. Let's see. Nice. Nine. Bananas, 25. That's not a 25, guys. All right, two. Grapefruit, 50 cent. Now we got a zero, so that, that came quick that time. So we got end up getting a dollar fifty two dollars and fifty cent for that round. So we'll put that into our shopping bag there. Okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby for our first round. That's only a dollar fifty, guys. What am I doing? A dollar fifty. Okay. Let's go again. Three. Three is for pairs. That's 75 cent. Oh, <laughs> we done already, y'all. These are going quick, okay? <laughs> Let's go one more time. Let's see if we get, get some momentum going. 75 cent for pairs, okay? I was ready to battle today, y'all. Let's see, four. Uh, pineapple, a dollar. All right, four. Pineapple again, a dollar. Four, another dollar for pineapple. All right. Nine bananas, 25 cent. All right, we done some. Five, we got radishes for 25 cent. I keep on my eight, 10 cent up there. <laughs> there we go. All right, five radishes again, 25 cent. Three pears, 75. All right, here we go. Seven, squash, 75. Eight, avocado, a dollar. One, watermelon, 25 cent. 
eight. Avocado. We got a little pile going. Y'all see that pile growing? Okay. Seven. Uh, squash. So we get to go until we get zero, guys. There, there's our zero, so our game ends there, okay? So then we count up all our chips to see how much, how much we saved that round. All right, so we got, let's see. We got one, two dollars here. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine dollars. All right, for that round. So that is how that goes, guys. All right, so I'm going to end that there. So we're going to tally up to see how much we have for the grocery game now, okay? You now we play Farmer's Market. We got our field. So we can do nine plus our 75 cent plus our dollar fifty. All right, we got a total eleven twenty-five that we spent. All right, and so we're going to take our total of $100 minus eleven twenty-five. This is how much we have left to shop at the grocery store. So it's 88.75 is what we have remaining to play the grocery games, okay? So let me open that up and get ready for that. All right. All right, so I got y'all focus in there. Okay, we got the grocery games. Get ready to <laughs> light up, all right? So we're gonna see what we're gonna go get. So we need, again, we need a 10-sided die to represent these dice here. And then we need a colored die that's gonna represent the color aisles here to show you um, what, what items we're gonna get. If an item is already crossed off for here, guys, you're gonna um, put a dash mark and say $5. But um, if you roll, you're gonna take the amount rolled on the dice and then write down your item. You get six um, items per grocery trip, then you add up your total, okay? So we got orange number two, okay? Orange number two is milk right here, and it's already crossed out. So we're going to come to our list here. This, this is not available with the book, guys. This is something I made on the side, okay? So you usually use a piece of paper, okay? <laughs> FYI for those who have my book, all right? This is an add-on that I made, you know, later on. All right, uh, so that's two, to, uh, it's gonna be a negative five, okay? Cause we don't have the milk, all right? Here we go, let's go again. We got it again, y'all. <laughs> so we go minus ourselves again. All right, come on, we need the item. Okay, green number one. Okay, we got some pasta, okay? That's a pasta that's worth a dollar. So we're gonna put a dollar and write down some pasta. All right, let's roll again. See what we gonna get this time. Let's see what we can get. Purple 10, okay, purple. And then number 10 here is a bag of chips. Barbecue chips, it looks like, okay. So barbecue chips. And they were $10, okay. And we'll go one more time. Ooh. All right, red number five. All right, red number five is already taken. That loaf of bread is gone, spoken for, so. No bread. Okay. And then here we go. Our last row. Green 10. Okay. So we go down here. And these like bushes baked beans right here. <laughs> okay. So we're going to say baked beans. Okay. And those are worth $10 because the 10, the 10 is rolled. So we're going to add up our total here to see what we spent. So we got 10, 20, 35, 36. All right. So we spent $36 that go around. And so we'll come over to our shopping cart on pay on this second page over here. We're gonna write, put in $36. Okay, so we still have about $50 left we can spend. So let's go ahead and do it one more time, do it one more trip. All right, we got blue number three. So that's our blue. And then we got three is the broccoli. So we're gonna get broccoli for $3. We'll write that down. All right, let's go again. All right, we got blue out number seven. Okay, we got apple. That's our apples. Okay, at seven dollars. All right, green number one is already taken, so we're gonna mark that out. All right, blue number seven. Lots of blue. I already got that one. We just marked that one, so that's we gonna record five dollars for that one. We're not getting because it's not available. Yellow number six. Okay, we're in the meat out, guys. Let's see. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And we got some, uh, like some sausages, okay? So we're gonna get sausage. That's some sausage length, and those are six, okay? Then our final item for that trip is orange number eight. Okay, orange is our dairy aisle, so we got some chocolate milk that time, okay? So we're gonna break that down. Milk, okay, $8, and we'll add up our total there. All right, so that's $34. All right. All right, so we ended up spending 36 the first time. So for that last trip, we got broccoli, apple, sausage, and chocolate milk. It was $34. The first trip was we ended up getting some pasta, some barbecue chips, and some um, baked beans for $36. because so they ran out of a lot of stuff that we needed. And so we're going to come over here. We'll add these totals up. So our 34 Plus our 36 is $70. And we had $88.75 we, when we got here. So we're going to take $88.75 minus our total. And we got $18.75 left. So I don't think we can complete a round without getting like an IOE if we were playing this for real. So we're going to put that in our final trip here to end our trip. Okay? So that ends our shopping trip in the game. So that's how it goes, guys. But so much fun. Love the grocery games. Okay? <laughs> So back to, we're going to go on to some more games, back to stuff in our wallet, okay? Fun, 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 all right. Y'all can have as much fun, too, get you a heat book, okay? Household, $20, all right? Let's go on the food with the cleanup woman real quick, all right? We can roll for our toiletries here, okay? Five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, we got the $6 item there for like some um, floor cleaner. All right, five, one, two, three, four, five. We got dishwashing liquid, which is $2. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got the bundle of supplies, which is four. One, two, three, four. Let's see, one, two, three. All right, we got enough to do at least one more roll. So here we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. We got some bleach for three dollars. One, two, three. And that leaves us three dollars. So we're just gonna go ahead and mark off another bleach for three dollars. All right. So that is how you prevent IOUs, guys. Okay. <laughs> if you didn't know, okay. <laughs> All right. Next game, okay. Next envelope is for me, and it's gonna be twenty dollars. So I'm gonna play a few of my games that I have designated for me. So let's do red bottoms, okay? So uh, let's see. We got my twenty dollars here again. Okay, so um, for red bottoms, guys, we're going to, uh, if we roll an odd number, we're going to save a dollar and color the bottom of the shoes um, red. And if it's even, we're going to uh, color, uh, save $2 and color the bottom of the shoes any color. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. We got four. That's even. So it's going to be $2 of my money. And we're going to color any color. Okay, so we'll do a blue player here. Okay, two. Another two dollars. We can do another color. And this uh, challenge is for you to, uh, like, for shopping money, guys. Save up for you to buy some, buy some red bottoms, guys. <laughs> for shoes or go shopping, okay? Ah, right, we get a pair of red bottoms, okay? So that's a dollar. And we get some red bottoms, okay? Perfect. Out again, another dollar for red bottoms. All right, even. That's two. So any color. All right, let's go again. Let's see, six, even. Ooh, we're giving out a lot of money right here. Let's see. <laughs> All right. 
think that's it, y'all. We got ten dollars over there already for red bottoms. Let's uh, go play. Nailed it. Let's get our nails done, guys. Okay, for you, so those of you who like getting your nails done. All right. So we're gonna roll our colored dice and our um, dice like that. It's excited that to tell us, and um, the color dice gonna tell us what nail polish color, and then that dice is gonna tell us how many nails to color in. A dollar a piece. Okay, we got red, so that's one dollar for I. Okay, yellow. It's odd. So we're going to do one nail on the yellow hand. Okay, purple is odd. So another dollar. Purple. Let's do that again. Okay, red. Odd. Right, so we're getting a lot of odds, guys. Let's see. And our nails colored on there. Okay, we got we got it even on the orange hand. Okay, orange is already done, so we can go ahead and we can color in a nail polish bottle instead. Two of those. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and then we got what we got. We got four dollars left. We can finish here, I guess. We'll finish here. Let's just finish. Okay, we got um, blue. And we got even, so that's $2, okay. We got one on the blue hand there, and we'll do the other one down here. So the blue lady has her hands, got her full set now, okay? Perfect. And we got $2 left, yellows to appear, so that's our final $2 of our personal money, okay? So there we go. So we spent our personal money. We put 10 towards getting our nails done, and we put 10 towards um, our shopping fun to get our red bottoms, guys, okay? So that's how it goes. That's how you play your cash envelope games. You have the most fun, okay? So up next is uh, Mr. Jordan, okay? I think I'm going to go, let's see. Let's get a zoo pass again this week, or we can play. No, let's play the vending machine game. Let's put a little bit in there. We have, I don't know that we played it last week. All right, let's roll for our... <clears throat> This tells us how many um, snacks, even or odd. One odd is one snack, even is two snacks at a time. Okay, what we get? We got two snacks, and then we roll for our two colors that we're gonna get for snack wise. Okay, we got orange. Orange is out, so we gotta keep rolling to see green. Okay, we got some cookies. Okay, and those are three dollars. And yellow is chips for a dollar. Okay. So we'll work out a bag of chips. Let's go again. How many snacks we get that time? We even again, so we get to do two rolls for two snacks. Another bag of chips for us at a dollar, and let's see what else we get. Another bag of chips. All right, and we'll, oh, one more. Let's see. Odd. Okay. Let's see. One snack for us. And blue. We got a bottle of water, and that's worth two dollars for a bottle of water. Okay, so that's for the snacks there. And then let's go over to Jordan's other game that I play for him, and that is a zoo pass. And we have, let's see. We got a little money left we could play. Let's see. We have about twelve dollars. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. So we're gonna roll. The dice is gonna be the column right here, or the row, and then the color do pass, okay? Here we go. Orange number three is available for that do pass. To get my little zoo animal into the zoo, guys, okay? So $3. All right, or like I said, you can use this like for a family fun, sinking fun, guys. Well, like I said, I thought this would be cute to play with the kids if you had any or anything like that. <laughs> Or just like I said, say for family fun, guys, nieces and nephews and things like that. All right, six, well, five red. Okay, so that's going to be five dollars for that pass. And we're going to mark out the red number five pass. Okay, and we only got four dollars left. So we're just going to roll for a color to see which pass we're going to get. Yellow is available. So we're going to knock out the uh, yellow zoo pass for our remaining $4. So that's how you play that. All right, on to our next game. All right, and then we got takeout is at $25. And we'll go ahead and play that today, guys. Let's see.
and that is party of eight. So with this one, you need an eight-sided die. Okay, let me grab eight-sided. Okay, eight-sided die and then the colored die. So the eight-sided die is going to tell us what seat at the table and then the color doesn't tell us what um, table because the chairs are in different colors and they have different type of meals on the table, guys. So when you complete this game, that kind of like suggests what you should eat. Like when you complete a table, that should be your um, the meal you choose to eat out if you want to. So just suggested meals to eat out, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got purple number two. Okay, so let's go ahead and spend our money for this. Seat number two is already taken, so let's stay at purple, but let's roll for another seat. Three, okay, so I want another dollar. Like that, let's go again. Okay, yellow number two, that seat is available, so that'd be $2 of our money. Red number three, okay, red seat number three is open. Now it's closed, okay, at the, at the uh, Mexican table. Okay, blue seat number three at the Peace and Wings. Three dollars. All right, take that out. Now that one out. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, we got red number eight. That's a lot of money. Back at the Mexican, Mexican winning with the most people at the table. Let's see. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight, and we only got one dollar left of our budget. So let's just roll for the color to take up who's going to get this seat. Who's going to get it? Uh, orange is for, uh, like, the seafood house right here for Red Lobster, okay? <laughs> so there we go. So we have allocated our $25 into Party of Eight, which is our um, takeout game, okay? And then we only have, um, I'm going to go ahead and just stuff these other two because, you know, our video is already at 30 minutes, guys, and I'm trying to keep them. So a certain degree, normally I play for giving us uh, $5, guys. And then our miscellaneous is um, 10 But normally for these games, that guys, I play, either play, I play the um, Because I Said So, which I played last week, and the uh, Six Packs of Duco. We'll skip those games this week and come back some next week, okay? And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stuff the rest of the money into our Savings Challenge Binder for this week. To cut, this is the money for our games, and it should be... Uh, 280, I think. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80. So 280 going back into our savings challenge binder for this week. All right. So that is it. Our binders have been stuffed. We are, we are ready. We are equipped for a good week of um staying on budget <laughs> for playing games and all of, uh, all the things all right so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already uh please uh watch the uh, add the play direct at this after this video uh please come to bingo tonight if you want to all right we're gonna have fun don't say you have to hear about it all right <laughs> also uh be sure to watch the ads and share the video all right i'll see you in the next one bye